KCC is known for training some of the island's top chefs and putting on some of the tastiest fundraisers around. But this particular event had a special flavor because it was organized and hosted by justice-involved women transitioning from prison. And many of them have graduated with honors from the KCC Culinary Arts Program. I work at the Hilton Wine Village. I've been there for three years and I love where I'm at. Now she has a support system in this room that literally tells her that hang in there, you're gonna make it, we got a place for you to go. This was the first annual event to honor women supporting women, a new initiative that provides hope and resources for those returning to community. Funds raised will go toward clothing, transportation, housing, and assistance with employment opportunities. It's a true collaboration of women on the outside helping women on the inside, plus an entire network of community partners and volunteers who help cultivate their success. When we get the community involved, it just brings more relationships around them. So whether it's from the faith community, whether it's from business partners, you know, the more connected they feel to the community, the more that they feel that they belong. And it's an easier transition. It's just like a family reunion. Why is that important? Because nobody understands their journey more than they do. For 22 years, years in my addiction, I could not believe that this could be possible. But I know today it's real, it happens, it works, and we can do it. Besides sharing good food, it's really a celebration of forgiveness, of feeling understood, and empowering a sisterhood that somehow found healing behind bars. Working with my hands, feeling the soil between my fingers in the lo'i, I felt free, if not for just a day. Somewhere between watching the kalo grow and learning to harvest and prepare the kalo, I began to heal. The majority of inmates at the state's only women's prison are doing time for drug-related offenses, and most of them have experienced some sort of trauma. Who am I? I don't know. I lost myself along the way. Confused with no direction, I'm smothered in depression. This long road comes to a dead end. They discover who they really are, that they're not just their mistakes and their failures. They can actually experience their own voice and hear it and share it. We can lean on our sisters for support, together, overcoming obstacles. We're all connected to bring about transformation and to bring about a pu'ohonua, a place of healing, a place in which you can live a forgiven life. They want to share their testimony and say sorry and ask for forgiveness and hope that they're forgiven. When you look at us, all you see is ex-inmates. But when you find out about us, you will know that we are the women's voice and for them, we have a king. Amidst all the struggles, these are the faces of success. Their transformation has been a source of inspiration for women looking forward to that day of release and reunion with their families. True success can happen if people care. Only together, as state and community, can we make a collective impact on the criminal justice system for change. That's the big vision, that's why we're here today, and that's the hope for the future. With continued support from government, public and private partners, and faith-based communities, these women will hopefully always remember they are not alone and are always welcome home. Oh!